starting with a first look at the new Apple TV Plus true crime series, Manhunt. It's the astonishing story of the hunt for John Wilkes Booth in the aftermath of Abraham Lincoln's assassination. Take a look. Booth had four meetings with Wall Street bigwigs, one of them to invest in a Pittsburgh oil rig with him. An oil rig? I'd wager that oil is code for assassination escape. Uh, can I see that bank book you found? Sure. What are you thinking? Well, the question is, Booth is one of the most famous actors in the world. You put a huge reward on his head, so why the hell has no one spotted him yet? And the only and I'm joined now by Manhunt showrunner and executive producer Monica Boletsky, along with Emmy and Grammy winner Patton Oswalt and actress Lovey Simone. Good to have you all here. Thanks for having us. I like the beard, Patton. Yes. You, you didn't uh, want to keep it, huh? I'm glad you liked it because <laughs> I we were filming in July and August in Savannah, Georgia. Ooh. And, and that's I'm all from I needed to hear. Yep. Good. Now you know. Okay. That humidity. Good. Yeah, yeah. Gross. Well, wow. you you look nice, all clean shaven. Thank Monica, you. we think we all know the story of Abraham Lincoln's assassination, but this goes way deeper, right? Yeah, um, it was a great opportunity to tell the story that happens after the assassination, the investigation, and um, you know we all know that John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln in Ford's theater, mm -hmm. but uh, so it wasn't a, a who done it. It's more of a who else done it, and so. I wanted to look into what other conspiracies there were surrounding uh, that, you know, tragic. Sure, there were plenty to dive into for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Patton, you play Detective Baker, who's kind of ends up kind of being a little bit of a shady guy. He MC. was. Listen, he was a competent <laughs> policeman and investigator. He was also very much aware of the reward money for Booth, mm. and would very much like to have that. Um, uh, partially go to him, or maybe all of it, why not? <laughs> but but I, I love that he's there because it also, as you said, it's a not only who done it, how many people done it, but it's also in the aftermath, how close did we come to not only Booth getting away with it, but maybe the Civil War being reignited and the Union being dissolved. There's tension from absolutely every single side in this. It's, it's, it's one of those stories, again, we think we know everything about, but and you just kind of need to be reminded sometimes of how chaotic it was. You were close to the brink. We were. Yeah. And, and uh, Levy, you play Mary Sims. I heard you were a little maybe hesitant at first to take this role. Um, hesitant in the sense that I was very familiar with period pieces that include um, African Americans having a lot of Tra trauma happening right. to them, um, but with seeing who Mary actually was and talking with Monica about what she, what her role was in this huge trial, I was like, oh wow, that's actually really like inspiring and enlightening and um, just, it, it's, it tells a story for people who haven't had their stories told right. that looked like me. For those that don't know who Mary Sims is, what was her role in all this? She was one of the first African Americans to actually testify in a court of law that, that, that mm -hmm. in, in that big of a, you know, <laughs> of a scenario. The biggest story yeah, in the world. The president, yeah. so it was a very big thing for her and a very courageous thing for her to be taking part in, especially during the times with that much oppression going on. It's an incredible story to tell. Yeah. Monica, I see some really cool kicks that you have on your <laughs> on your feet. If we have this wide <laughs> shot, those Thank are special you. shoes. What are those? They're very special. My costume designer on Manhunt, Katie Irish, gave them to me as a gift, and they are a replica of Abraham Lincoln's house slipper, White House oh, slippers with little goats on them. Oh, they're goats. Okay, I couldn't yeah. tell they were goats or reindeer yeah. from here. And these will be available at Anthropology <laughs> yeah, right? Fall. And uh, there's a whole presidential slipper collection there, too. I was going to say, I see a whole line coming oh, out fantastic. here. fantastic, yeah. Oh, uh, Patton, what surprised you the most? What do you want people to take from this the most, the story, the show? Uh, the thing that surprised me the most was I, I've always looked at history as, or been taught history as it's great men and women who were moving the country forward and what you realize is it's extraordinary men and women who are running to catch up with history mm. that is outpacing them and almost fraying into chaos and they are barely holding it together and that's actually what makes them great and extraordinary and and again I, I can't stress this enough you you cannot believe how close to the abyss we came on this thing it, it's it's kind of there's moments that are truly breathtaking and we are in dc and i feel like there there's a little bit of that chaos it's not history repeats itself right but it makes you sit back and think a little bit yeah. maybe of where we are yeah yeah it's very topical and there are a lot of echoes and i think 
This event of the assassination really shaped our culture, so there's no coincidence that we see similarities today. You also see the origin of a lot of stuff we take for granted in police work that they just didn't have then, that they had to sort of make up as they went along right. techniques that they they had to kind of invent. So yeah. fascinating. And I know you guys have an event tonight where you're <laughs> going to be talking all about it, the Thomas Jefferson Building, but we appreciate you coming here first. Thanks Congratulations. For Welcome you. to D.C. Yeah. Manhunt premieres this Friday, March 15th on Apple TV+.